to them in terms of accomplishments has to do with um, food safety and, uh, and toy safety. Over the last year, um, it's been in the headlines and, and it's been a very real problem with imports from China, uh, lead, in, lead in toys and, um, and, and uh, problems with, with uh, food imports uh, from, from China and product imports from China. Uh, I was in China last August and had a chance to sit down with the regulator, the Chinese regulators who regulate exports to China to be sure things are safe to be exported to any country in the world, including the U.S. And we had a chance to explain to them, my colleague and I had a chance to explain to them that the best thing they can do to shut down um, uh, Chinese exports to the U.S. is to do nothing. Uh, and uh, frankly, I, I think the message started to get through then. And one thing that we had suggested is getting Food and Drug Administration people permanently deployed into China, not just to um, uh, lay out what the expectations and the standards are in the U.S. market, but actually to do our own inspections and audits of their manufacturing um, uh, uh, products and and how they're um, uh, and, 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 and of the uh, and of the food that they're producing. Well, um, the FDA announced that they are going to put 13 FDA personnel permanently in China as a first step to do just that, to do the inspections, to uh, get, uh, help the Chinese raise their standards. Um, that's a win for them. It's a win for us uh, as well here in the U.S. Uh, but we're not done on that. We still have to uh, fix the problems that we have with the Consumer Product Safety Commission. And uh, honestly, we need to increase the penalties on importers in this, in this country, or manufacturers in this country who are manufacturing in China and not taking responsibility for the mistakes being done for, their, for the manufacturing of their products. And we have legislation to do that as well. So there's still some work to do uh, on that. Um, uh, on the environmental side, um, there's something that I've been working on for about seven years now, uh, and to credit Patty Murray on this, uh, she's been working on it for nine years. Uh, we introduced a bill uh, 46 days into my first term. Uh, I'm sorry, no, that's when we introduced it. My staff had its first meeting on a bill 46 days into my first term in 2001 to establish the first wilderness area in Washington State in 20 years. And uh, earlier this month, uh, President Bush signed the Consolidated National Natural Resources Act in 2008, which included the Wild Tecumish Wilderness Bill as the first wilderness area for Washington State in over 20 years. That is now a law. And tomorrow in Index Washington, if you're available tomorrow morning, uh, we're having a big celebration to celebrate the Wild Sky Wilderness Bill. A lot of credit on that bill goes to Senator Murray. A lot of credit goes to the uh, broad swath of people who are involved in crafting that bill, hanging strong with that bill over um, many uh, bumps and bruises and stops and starts. Uh, this big businesses like REI, uh, small businesses like the Wild Iris uh, uh, Bed and Breakfast and Index, a variety of uh, individuals made that bill happen. And, and so tomorrow uh, we get a chance to, uh, uh, to uh, uh, celebrate, because uh, you don't get a lot of time to celebrate uh, bills passing in this business. Um, I have found, and uh, this is one. <laughs> <laughs>